Such a first world problem. Does your yarn squeak? Does it make noise as it glides on your hook? We have a solution for that. I know, full of ideas. <laughs> Welcome to my channel and I'm here to inspire you, give you crochet advice and help you along with your next project. So here's a yarn that I've been playing with that is causing a squeak and it's driving me crazy. Oh, let's keep this family friendly. <laughs> um, so anyway, so there is a solution for stuff like this. Look, I'm putting on my serious face, but you can actually change the squeak. So there is no squeak. You have some choices. Let's talk about your choices. <laughs> Can't believe I'm running a video on this. So your first option, change the hook to something else. So I'm using a resin hook. I'm using Bernat Blanket, but it's kind of funny. I'm using other Bernat Blankets, but it just seems to be this one is causing a squeak. So it's like, yeah, it's like a terrible violin. So you can either change your hook and sometimes that's a great solution. But if it's the only hook you got, your solution is actually in your bathroom. Well, it could be depending if you use soap or not. Do you use soap? <laughs> Wow, I'm sinking to an ultimate low. <laughs> the answer here is not on your royal throne, but it could actually be in your sink or in your shower. <laughs> leave me a comment if you think I know what I'm talking about. And leave me a comment if you know I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's find our solution. So here's the solution. Yes, this yummy little thing. And this is what you call bar soap. So you gotta be careful about your bar soaps. This has a little bit of pumice in it, so I don't wanna scrape my hooks. But what you can do is you can take your hook and rub it ever so nicely on your bar soap. And what you're doing is you're adding lubrication to your hook. It sounds so ridiculous, but um, you can also put it on your fingers and actually rub it on your hook too, if you feel like that's appropriate for you. And what you're just doing is you're adding a little bit of lubrication. It's like your car, if it seizes up, right? It needs oil to, you know, keep those uh, tires turning. So you, because you've been going in and out with your hook, or maybe the hook is just kind of dry, it just needs a little bit of negotiation <laughs> to make sure it goes into those stitches quite nicely. So I just want to rub it on a little bit of bar soap and just get it to be a little more slipperier. And you can just keep your soap handy, but um, it's a great way to kind of lube up your hook and get it all good and going so that you can prevent the squeaks of your yarn. You ever think you'd watch a guy just lubing up his crochet hook with a bar of soap on YouTube? <laughs> I deserve at least a heart for that. So hit that like button. <laughs> so I'm back in the studio, nice and lubed up. Now, if you have any lubrication ideas, keep it family friendly. I have a demented uh, sense of humor, so I can handle it, but not everybody can. So now that my hook has been lubricated, I can try my yarn and see how it's going to go like butter. No more squeak. It's that simple. So, you know, so you can take those Facebook comments. Oh my God, my hook is, is, uh, is squeaking. So if you ever see that on Facebook, just tell somebody to go grab their, go get a shower with their hook and lube it up with bar soap. You know, there's truly a video for everything on YouTube, honestly. <laughs>